Education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. It is this popular quote by Malcolm Forbes that led to the establishment of Ghana Senior High School many years ago. Oh yeah, Ganasco calling, Ganasco calling. The Board of Governors, the Headmistress, past students, PTA, staff and students invite the general public to its 60th anniversary celebration in the theme, Ganasco at 60, celebrating our achievements, charting our future. Ghana Senior High School transformed from Ghana College to Ghana Secondary School and is currently bearing the name Ghana Senior High School Tamale. The school was established in January 1960 with a student population of 70 made up of only boys. The first girl to join them was Salama to Alassan, a transferred student from Ya Asantua Girls Secondary School. I'm Alhaji Abdul Fattah Ibrahim, 1980 year group, a member of the national executive. I'm standing in for my president, uh, Bernard Moro, the 1968 year group. He's our president. So I'm just here to tell you more about uh, our association. Oga became more visible during this period of uh, Bernard Moro. But uh, when he took over, I think he was able to revitalize the association and bring in a lot of people on board who have, uh, in a way, contributed to significantly to the, uh, to the beautification and then uh, renovation of uh, the school. It became a competition among year groups in terms of contribution. Everybody individually and then collectively as uh, year groups, they've done so much. The enthusiasm that has grown, we want it to be sustained. And whatever you can do to make Ghana School great or greater than what it is now, because over the year, I mean, people see it, the rivalry between Tamasco and Ganasco, especially if, when, when it comes to uh, sporting activity, especially for football. So there are so many things, challenges in the school. Yeah, even though we have water now, but if you could get more of such for various dormitories, you know, and then we have uh, probably a shortage of classrooms and others. So they, they, sometimes the school wants to admit more, but no, no, no space. We, we can always wait for government to do it. It is now our time to do more than what we are doing now. So we want the interest in the school to be sustained because what we have seen during this and where people just went deep into their pockets and brought all, out all the money that is needed, required. We thank all of them as a group, as individuals. Ghana Senior High School is a great school in which the students, especially my juniors in GHS, when they are to make their choice, they should make sure Ghana Senior High School should be part. Why do I say so? Because Ghana Senior High School have produced a lot of guys, including uh, the, the former president, the John Dramani Mahama, and his wife, and in addition, the Abid Pili, and etc., etc. They are all completed here. If you come to Ghana Senior High School, I think you are going to be a great person in future. As a Ghana Senior High School, there is a lot of discipline, academic excellency. You are going to achieve all. And in addition, uh, as a footballer, or some people, they all have talents, different, different ways. You come here, you can be an entertainer, a footballer, and a, anything, a lot of things. So I recommend Ghana Senior High School for the my juniors in GHS, they should all come here and experience life. The vision of the school is 
to provide formal education to qualify basic school leavers, admit BECE leavers, and ensure they acquire the requisite qualification for further training in tertiary institutions to be productive by promoting socio-economic development and by assisting to reduce poverty. The mission of the school is to appoint and maintain qualified, competent and devoted teaching staff and also admit BECE leavers who attain aggregate 6 to 30 and ensure that the latter are imbibed in quality academic, moral and discipline training with academic qualifications given by selfless and devoted teachers to enable them have access to tertiary institutions to be further trained to satisfy the manpower of Mother Ghana. This is Mohammed Sani Ibrahim, the senior prophet for Ghana Senior High. Indeed, as we all know, Ghana School is one of the beacons of hope for the whole country in terms of academics, in terms of football, in terms of entertainment, and all aspects of life that you can talk about. And then second cycle institution, as we all know, Ghana Senior High has, has, has achieved a lot. Indeed, currently when you go to the Ghana's parliament, Ghana School can boast of 10 parliamentarians, no doubt about that. The current, um, who is the current MP for Salagasa? We can talk of Honorable Montala Mohammed. And then just to mention a few, when it comes to sports, we can have of the great man who is in the person of Abedi Pele and then Abu Jinapo, all just to mention a few situation of our sanitation, just to talk a few, just the, our current um, dormitory and then to the administration, the indisciplinary act in Ghana Senior High is becoming rampant. So we are appealing to our stakeholders and all old Ghana Scans Association to come to our aid. Ghana School indeed is a light. We, we hope that they will come to our aid and then assist us in all things possible about the current situation of our fence hall. Indeed, it has been a massive problem to us. Indeed, we appeal to the government because without the fence hall, it is becoming more difficult for us to control the entire student body. I'm Ibrahim Youssef, popularly known as Isobio in those days. I came into Ghana School in 1975. Then I had my O level, 1980. But currently, I'm now Ibrahim Yusuf Dullana, a sub chief in Guichol traditional area. I'm the Northern Regional President of Oga. Uh, Oga has done a lot of uh, during our administration, and I hope uh, all year groups will support us to achieve this our aim. Projects are going on everywhere. In the later years, that's uh, from the 2000, the 1990s, they have done a lot, uh, particularly mentioning a 96 year group, where they've done a, 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 a mounted tanks to support uh, the school, the students with water. 1997 year group, they've also done a lot by renovating various projects like the sick bay, the staff common room, and then the library. And then uh, uh, everybody is on board. Invited them into the school and they came in their numbers. They have been, they have helped the school in so many ways. Some have come to do projects. Others have contributed in, in, in cash and then in some, in, in some other ways, they have done a lot for the school, the old students. Uh, I mean, I can still see the enthusiasm in them. We have uh, members, or, I mean, uh, we have some of them on the board and they have always been coming for meetings. They know what is happening in the school and they ask questions if they are not satisfied with some of the questions we try to explain to them especially those who come to the school so let me say that they have they are of immense help to the development of the school they have helped a lot some have come to renovate uh, some of the classrooms others have come to renovate the library and the sick bay others have provided poly tanks and even the dormitories some have come to renovate the dormitories 
they have given us a lot and we are very grateful to them. We want to encourage them to continue because their their alma mater needs them. If they don't come on board, I think that it will not work out well for all of us. The school started with two streams of 35 students each. Today, we have 12 streams. The student population is well over 2,486, with two thirds being girls. The school runs all the programs, general science, general arts, business, agriculture, and vocational, except the technical program. The school originally started with a teaching staff of 20. Today, the teaching staff is made up of 92 permanent teachers, some national service personnel, some teachers of internship, and also 45 non-teaching staff. Um, in regards to this, um, we have lots of uh, old students training in this school, in the uh, sciences and the maths, um, at top and higher levels. We would encourage them to, once in a while, do pay visit let the children know that they also pass through here and now they are scientists they are mathematicians etc and um, if they can or they could pass through the school and they are at those positions or levels um, they too can uh, you know also go through and then uh, be successful in these areas so we encourage um, all students to do i mean to come around and then uh, help us with them um, you know and aside that too um we would like to plead with them our library if they could help stock um, a library with um, um, learning uh, materials in the areas of science and maths to, to help we have so many history books and then others yes we do have science and maths but um, they are a bit outmoded in a way because uh, now we have advanced mathematics books that could help in the uh, in the course the school's objective is to develop each child to the highest level that his or her capabilities can carry him or her, using the very resourceful and hardworking staff in the school. It also aims at giving a holistic development of the students entrusted into our care. As an ICT teacher, we are very, very happy that the old boys of Ghana Senior High School has come to look at how the computer lab is and how things are going on in the department. In fact, we have a lot of challenges that we face here. The whole school, we only have one working computer lab, which has 40 computers, which serves a lot of students. The whole school, which is about 3,000 population, uses only these 40 computers which is a very sad thing for us. It has made our work very difficult because some students will have to wait until others finish. And sometimes it can reach two weeks, a certain group will not even be able to access the computer lab. We are therefore appealing to the old boys and to other organizations and governments to come into our aid and help us with an ultra-modern computer laboratory where these children can get tuition to be able to receive the necessary skills in order for them to be able to further their education. Yeah, um, the current situation that we are facing um, doesn't help and we are thinking that if we step up our game and we are able to get more facilities it will help us a lot. We can all bear witness that we are now in an information era and there's the need for these children to also gain these requisite skills. For that matter, I appeal to the old students, benevolent Ghanaians, governments, and all stakeholders to come to our aid to help us get an ultra-modern ICT laboratory. Thank you so much and we count on you. The rocket is our symbol of, uh, I think it, uh, it happened in 1974, but according to history that there was an earlier launch in 1968 that was not successful 
So it continues and to, I mean, uh, I think the history is written everywhere. Put him to practice what we have learned in science. And uh, if you see on our crest rocket there, that's our, uh, our symbol. Yeah. And beyond that, at least we've seen that uh, Ganaskans are everywhere now. So wherever you find yourself as a Ganaskan, be visible. Contribute positively. Say that the name of Ganasko will keep on rising. The motto is the Anisuma Nisolo, the patience and perseverance. You should be patient and persevere in whatever activity you are involved in. And uh, the bottom line is, it's a school of discipline. If you see uh, those pensioners coming to help the school, and we those who are still energetic, we are not trying to help the school. In fact, it's not uh, encouraging at all. So I'm just uh, using this platform to, I mean, appeal to our recent uh, year groups to come to the, the, the school aid to make sure that the school get uh, at least what, where, what would uh, make it very great as it, it used to be. In fact, uh, the rocket, it was, uh, there was this uh, Indian uh, science tutor in the school called uh, Mr. Lalaji, who, uh, I mean, uh, organized uh, some students with three other, uh, three other masters. Uh, to, I mean, find a way, make it very practicable, to uh, show that they are not only doing it theoretically, but at least they can do it, they can practicalize it. The school has seven houses. Banzaba, named after Alassane Banzaba, the first graduate from the northern Ghana. Cabra, America Cabra, freedom fighter from Guinea-Bissau. Dakpema, the land owners of Tamale. Persa, Mr. K. L. Persa, first headmaster of the school. Nkrumah, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, first president of the Republic of Ghana. Bewa, the founder of Dagon Kingdom. Nagbewa, Independence House, in honor of Ghana's independence. Lodina House, in honor of former first lady, Lodina Mahama. My name is Ruhaima Zakaria Balo. Ghana Senior High School is about to celebrate her 60th anniversary. And our team is Ghana Senior High School at 60, celebrating her achievement, charting the future. Those are the preparation for the anniversary. The school is doing well, but there are some areas that I think we would like to call upon the PTA, the stakeholders, the OGA, and all philanthropists, all those who can support to help us in the area like sanitation. Especially behind, behind the Yes, farm block. There's a refuse dam there that is distract that is distracting the, the students from learning, especially the stench that comes from there. There are school library. There are no there are not enough books in the library to help the students to learn. And also also when we come to the ICT lab, there are not enough computers to for all the students to use. When it comes to security, people come in day in, day out of the school, riding motors, cars. I'm Matilda Adongo, the deputy senior house mistress. The environment is not all that conducive. Our main problem is the fence wall. Because of the fence wall, we are not able to control the students. Two, water is another problem. And because we don't have water, sometimes you go to the communities to fetch water. Sometimes they dam and then all over. So we are not able to control them. When you meet a student and you ask, I say, I'm going to go to fetch water. What are you going to do? As a you have to allow the person to go. And some of them use that as a reason to go and then do their own things. Then another thing is overcrowding in the dormitory. The dormitory is overcrowded. If you enter there now, my brother, it is not easy. Some of them are lying on the floor. There are no, uh, the beds are not enough and other, so the problems are just numerous. All students are a stakeholder. All students, and uh, I've said in, in previous conversations that I have been very lucky to get them on board. When I came, I whipped up the enthusiasm in them. I opened my doors to the old students to come on board. Their mother is 60 years 
And if your mother is 60 years, it means she's growing old. And if they, they, your mother had nurtured you from childhood and she's 60 years now, I think it is important that you also come on board to uh, give her a deal. And so we want to continue to encourage them. They shouldn't relent. They shouldn't get angry. Sometimes they are not happy with certain things. We want to encourage them. Whatever they are not happy with, whatever they don't understand, they should try and come to the school and then find out from the school management what is happening. They will get the answers. We don't want them to be on the platforms and say things that they, 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 they are not content with. We want to encourage them to come on board. So we are very pleased with them. And so uh, they should continue to help their mother to grow and to produce more of them. We are inviting everybody to come and celebrate with us. This is a diamond anniversary and we all know that diamonds are forever. What it means is that your mother is growing. And so we want to invite everybody in the diaspora, in, the, in Ghana, wherever you are, and you think you can come, you are welcome to come and celebrate with us. Um, our theme is Ghana School Assisting celebrating our achievements, charting our future. If we all come on board, we think that we can get all the ideas, all the suggestions to pave way for our future. We want to uh, get a motivated staff and students in future. We want the school to be one of excellence. We want the school to be a place of academic excellence. And so we are inviting everybody I mean, the public, everybody should come on board, help us celebrate, and then to give us ideas and suggestions as to how to move this school forward. We have students who have excelled in various fields of academia, industry, commerce, business, military, politics, public and civil service, etc. We find our products in politics, finance and banking, academic, sports, media, forces, medicine and healthcare, science and technology, traditional leadership. This football park is the field in which the great Abede Ayub Pele played. This field is such an historic football park that the Ayub Pele, I mean, and his brother, you can see people still playing in that field. This will tell you the might and the potential that Ghana Senior High School has offered to great talents in the past and still is offering to the current crop of students who are not only pursuing the academic pursuit but also try to develop their God-given talents to be one of the great IU Pelés John Dramani Mahama, the, the former president, the former first lady, Lordina Mahama, and so many, many, many great, you know, personalities that have come out from this school. So don't be surprised. Anytime you hear about Ghana School, you know that this is the field that has produced the great Abede Ayu Pele. Reporting from Ghana City High School, my name is Abdesalam Hamdeway. Rejoice my soul!